What's that? Candied yams. Ooh, Dorian hates vegetables that taste like dessert. <sighs> Here we go again. We're at war. Pick a side. What are you talking about? Oh, what's with her? Is everything really that black and white? You can't be for more than one thing at once. You don't have to feel guilty. But what? You did not cause Dory in the election. Really? She lost by one vote. That means thousands of people didn't vote for her. Yeah, but only one of them is in her kitchen messing with her vegetables. Dorian is going to find out that I voted for Vicky Banks. And when she does, she'll do to me what I did to the sweet potatoes. Not if you keep your mouth shut. She's going door to door looking for people who betrayed her. That's her word, betrayed. She is not going door to door. She took her clipboard down to the Buenos Dias. Thank you very much for agreeing to participate in this all-important, crucial post-election analysis. We volunteered. I intend to run a far more effective campaign next time, and therefore I want to know who you voted for and why. Horse hockey. Excuse me. You don't want information. She wants somebody to blame. You lost, Dorian. Live with it. Dorian's out for blood. I wouldn't say that. I would. She's collecting data. Yeah, on who's loyal and who isn't? I'm a dead man. This isn't the only thing on her mind. One vote. No, she's not going to sleep until she figures out who betrayed her. Yeah, she's real good at losing. Okay, she just needs to blow off some steam, get it out of her system, and then she'll see. Just because she lost by one vote doesn't mean she can blame one person. That's crazy. That's Dorian. I'm a Kramer woman. We can handle a setback. Defeat, Dorian. You were defeated. You know, it is precisely that defeatist attitude that has kept you in an apron and crepe soled shoes. You seem to have forgotten, Dorian, that I do not work for you anymore. And does that mean I am no longer owed any loyalty? You used to work for me, Carlotta. I practically raised, raised you. Raised my children, I know. You saw the way I ran my house. Yes, I did indeed. And that gave you an indication as to how I would run this city. Exactly. That's why I voted for Vicky. Great. Just a moment, please. No, Noel. I would still like to know who it was that. You can't ask people how they voted. It's a secret ballot between them and their conscience. And it's un American. And it's unconstitutional to even ask. Et tu, mon ami? I will not confirm or deny for whom I decided to cast my vote. I gave you my house. You took it back! You lived there for several months, and, and, and I let Noel keep that gorgeous lingerie. I'm sure you've had occasion all right, to enjoy now, it. All right, now, hush your mouth. Now, stop this foolishness right now. It is almost Thanksgiving, and you should be counting your blessings. Instead of trying, trying to hunt down the one turncoat ingrate who cost me this election? Exactly. How's it going? Abysmally. This post-election investigation has been nothing but bad news. What is this? Candy DMs. Mm. The name tells the whole sad story. I know, but... <laughs> it's my fault, Dr. Lord. Yeah, um, Marco made them. They're his puppy's favorite. Is this true? Uh, yes. Yeah, r remember we're taking Thanksgiving dinner down to the homeless shelter in Market Street tomorrow? Oh, yes, 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 that's, that's right. Um, however, it, would you mind very much kind of making that disappear? Hide it away? Sure. <sighs> so you're really upset about the election, huh? Yes. I, um, made promises to people. They trusted me, and I feel like I let them down. Dr. Lord, I need to tell you something. Marco? I gotta get it off my chest. Don't say it. Yes, 
Say it. Say it. Believe me, I, I can handle it. Really? Yes. This is about your parents' reaction to it. Well, I think they can take it. <laughs> really? I mean, this one thing to support alternative lifestyle in theory, it's quite an I didn't, I didn't it. vote for you, Dr. Lord. What? It's my fault you lost the election. When your parents wouldn't let you see Langston. And that was totally awesome. Oh, but not awesome enough to get you to vote for me instead of Vicky? I'm sorry, but I just, I honestly thought about the job. Do you know what you cost me? What you cost this community? Uh, okay, Dorian, that is not fair. Marco what? isn't the only person who didn't vote for you. You can't blame this on him. One vote! Okay, yes, that's how close you came. That's huge! Yes. A huge disappointment to me. Uh, or, or maybe it's a sign. Okay, so you almost won. So you know that there's a lot of people here who love you and support you and all that, right? Not enough. Uh, oh, okay, but the person who you love the most is in London. David. So maybe you're supposed to go be with him right now. Maybe it's time you focus on your personal life. I have a personal life. But I wanted to be mayor. Yeah, well, that didn't work out. So follow your heart. Go to London. And in the cause. I took a stand. I know. And you made the fight for same-sex marriage personal and real for more people. Well, I did what I thought was right. You did, Dorian. And we'll keep fighting. People should have the right to love who they want. And that means you too. And you love David. Maybe this is right. Oh, Marco, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's okay. No, I was looking for somebody to blame. Maybe that one measly vote of yours put me on the right road. To London? I adore London. And David. I adore David. <laughs> and he adores you. I'll help you pack. Oh, but but what about Thanksgiving with Marco's parents? Oh, don't worry about that. We've got it covered. We'll totally dispose of the yams. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful holiday, darling. And please email me photographs. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, this is she. You have fun too, and we don't need pictures. <laughs> this, this is the right thing to do, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely. David loves you. Yes, he does. And I love him, and this is a whole new beginning. <laughs> okay, call us when you get there. We'll, we'll do. Wait! <laughs> Vicki Banks just vacated office. What? She publicly announced that she will not serve. What does that mean? It means it's not over.